Hey baby dolls, Casey here welcoming you to my world. If you're a regular, then welcome back. If you're new here, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button for weekly content. <laughs> Casey's world. Ding, ding, no background music today because I got copyrighted last time and I was too lazy to find new music. So ding, 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 ding. What's up with you? Me, 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 me. Love you guys so much. So, before we get into this video, let me show you some lost footage from a previous video. Let's bring it in. I can hear you. Holy shit. I got these shoes because I was convinced that I was gonna wear them every single day because these are the sexy feminine wedges. And have I really worn them outside? Not really. I think I wore them to one party in which they made my feet hurt so bad that I regretted wearing them in the first place. And I've worn them to film some dance videos and take some photos. But other than that, I've never actually worn them outside. I'm more of a sneakers girl. Um, so as you just saw, I had these beautiful wedges. Um, and I did not know whether I should trash them or keep them because I don't really wear them, but I'm attached to them for some reason. Um, and so I still have them in my closet and I have devised a plan. I'm going to wear the shoes for 24 hours. Now that doesn't mean I'm going to be laying around the house for 24 hours because obviously that would be like a cheat sheet. That means that obviously I would be keeping the shoes, but never really wearing them. I need to go out and have a normal day wearing those shoes so today i'm actually going to a crystal shop and seeing if they're hiring the one that i went to before um said that because of covid limbo they're not gonna do anything with anybody new hopefully this store will be like well we don't know if we're gonna be open next monday but we're hiring you and then you know if we are you got a job and if we're not then you know but at least you work for a little bit that's kind of what i'm hoping for either that or just making some cool new friends at a crystal shop because if you work at a crystal shop you're obviously cool i mean why do you think i want to work at a crystal shop <laughs> anyways moving on so this video will kind of be like a vlog kind of experience of how my feet are doing um in those huge wedges um but so yeah so i guess i'll see you um in a few when i have my wedges on and i am going about my day um so yeah see you then bye okay folks so i am outside of my house i literally just left my building wearing these babies um and i put on socks because i didn't know if it was gonna be cold or not and i didn't want my feet to sneeze what did he say <laughs> i don't know if your feet can catch a cold but um i am very much regretting the premise of this video um i haven't even made it to the train station yet and um, my feet are in pain, um, but it's okay. All right, walk with me. Okay, so I do have my backpack with me um, with my resume for this crystal shop if they decide to ask me for it. Um, I also have my sneakers there. So if I check it out and I'm like, nope, nope, can't do it. Then I will be putting on my sneakers. Um, you know, I don't want to be stuck in the city or anywhere else, you know, with blistering feet and dying. So we shall see how it goes to the city. That's the store that I'm gonna go into, and look what it says good vibes only. Oh, hello, Mr. Bus. I'm excited. Okay, I'm digging this little mermaid. Look at the wind is doing with my bangs. Um, but not the point. I just saw the crystal shop. Um, I bought a little thing so I could stick my incense sticks in um, and light them in my room because right now me and my mom just have one for the living room. Um, so I got one of those and I asked if they're hiring, and they are and she was nice enough to take my resume and pass it along to the manager whenever he or she comes so now we wait but i actually was able to hand it in and that is great they're hiring hiring seasonally and i'm like 
that's fine like honestly I, if i work for like a month or two that'd be great because at least that's some type of experience that i can then put on the resume and get something more permanent later in the future and also crystals um but anyways yes it's very happy uh, i'm very happy on the topic of shoes my feet are dying these shoes are simultaneously too big and too small and that doesn't make any sense and i'm very confused it's like the top of my foot is dying and i feel like there's just two rocks squeezing my foot and then the back of my foot keeps coming out of the shoe so i don't know what's happening here i don't know if it's the socks but i feel like if i didn't have the socks on then i would be setting myself up for failure because I would be blistering around the front where my foot is being squeezed. But right now I guess the sock is functioning as some type of band-aid. Not 100% sure. But um, there's this nice little park type of place over here. Um, and I've still got some time to kill. So I think I'm gonna try and do some cool aesthetic type of photo shoot. And I guess you'll see those photos right now. <laughs> Is that a bird? A plane? See, at this point I was thinking, damn, my feet look cute, but I'm dying on the inside. Like, Jesus fucking Christ, thank God I'm going home. Oh my God. For reference, I just got back home. Can you hear the click of the clock? Oh, it's shoes. You see that? Look how I I made it almost an entire day doing what I would normally do in the city, but the amount of pain in my foot, and especially since these shoes were supposed to be for like a party or whatever, no, no. I walked 10 minutes from the park where I took the photos to the train station to come home. And that was 10 minutes of normal walking. And within like three minutes of that normal walking, I was like, fuck, I need to sit on the ground and take off my foot, take off my shoe and massage my foot because I am dying. But obviously I couldn't do that. So I was like, no, we're gonna make it back home. And now I'm home and no, these shoes, they're not it, sir. They're not it, these, oh, god damn. God damn, these shoes are uncomfortable, god damn. I'm in pain. But you know what? I made it so, so long. Like, can we talk about how long I was in the city? Can we talk about how long I withstood the unbearable pain of these suckers and I'm still wearing them? I don't know, does that mean that I'm fully an adult? Cause you know, adults wear uncomfortable shit all the time and they're just like, for the sake of looking good, beauty is pain, my friend, beauty is pain. I don't know, but I'm, I am dying. I am, it, it's not for me. Um, and yeah, I just, I would not be able to wear these to a party. Probably just like for a momentary dance thing or um, 
like a photo shoot but i already took photos in them so i saved them they have been put to use and they were worn to a party once and i have a video of myself dancing with them so you know what and i'm about to topple over in these dumb things i don't need them it is a no oh. what the front of my foot felt like in these shoes no never again they're they're being donated to somebody who is okay with wearing something like this because uh, it, it ain't me child it, 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 it is not me no i think if i wear shoes like this they have to be evenly tight because this was just so weird all oh, the pressure was in the front it is no way now Okay. Oh, cha! No, I'm really happy that you 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 you're still here, you know, and that you're still watching. That's great. I love you guys so much. If you've made it this far in the video, then drop the red high heel shoe thing emoji. That one, you know, the one I'm talking about. Yeah, that one. Um, yeah, and uh, and I guess that's. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for um, following me on this mini journey. And thank you so much for subscribing to me and loving me because I love you too. <laughs> ah! Anyways, that is all. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and a beautiful night. See you guys next week.